What's up, YouTube? I'm going to crack open some Series 8 Hitch and Toe. Starting with this 72 Volkswagen Type 2 with the teardrop trailer. Got these pre cut. So we'll start with the van. This is a casting that we've all seen before from Green Light. Cool little van. Interesting roof rack. Really cool spare tire. A lot of good intricate detail. Indicators. Hubcaps. Good brake light detail. All the stuff you would expect from a premium casting. So that's pretty cool. And then this is a new trailer for me. Um, I think it's been out in the V Dub Hitch and Toe. It's really heavy though. It's a chunk of metal. I'll tell you, it is all die cast. There's <clears throat> no plastic. That's a metal base. This is all metal. Even the door is metal. And look at that. That is dope. That is some serious detail. A little kitchenette. That's a sweet little trailer. <coughs> so really good detail. All the trim is detailed out. The curtains, the indicators, hinges. Really cool little trailer. And that's a new one for my collection. I don't have that teardrop until now. All right, next up. Oh, I got pretty excited when I saw this one. This is a Hollywood Hitch and Toe from Series 8. It is not the separate Hollywood release where they come with an extra vehicle. It's Michonne's Jeep Wrangler with an awesome little utility trailer. <clears throat> start with this Jeep. I did a whole video on green light Jeeps, I think. Got around 15 of them. This one is as cool as all of the others. Got the Georgia plates for the Walking Dead. Really nice detail. I like the black wheels on this too. Tires need a little bit of work, but usually it doesn't take much to get those situated so that they're proper. That is a cool little Jeep Wrangler. But the trailer is what I'm kind of curious about because this is another one. Matter of fact, <clears throat> all four of these are new. Um, new trailers. I don't have any of these in my collection. I don't know that any of them have been brought out yet. The only one I think that might have is the teardrop. But here you have a little little utility trailer. The little ramp. You always got to be careful popping these ramps on. I don't know if I want to yeah, right on. Cool. So you got your little fold down ramp. That thing is sweet. Really light casting. I don't even know. See, this one feels like plastic. Which, you know, they got to cut costs somewhere. That feels like die cast. 
but when you see you know the others they have to average the cost of everything out and there is a lot of cost going into the next two but this little thing is so awesome this is the rad little hitch and toe just a little guy <coughs> all right next another gas monkey garage this makes number three i think for the gas monkey hitch and toes this one is sweet too really heavy i'm gonna start out with this truck because i think this truck is a new cat this is new a new casting to my <clears throat> to my green light collection this is a 2500 heavy duty ram you've got the toolboxes in the side of the bed that is new none of my dodge rams have that i really want to get that new power wagon that came out but this has some awesome graphics on it really cool got the ram on the grill lensed headlights tinted windows on the back three really cool detail gas monkey license plate and this thing is super heavy too so it's, it's a lot heavier than any other dodge ram because this toolbox back here adds look at how wide that is on both sides it adds a lot of weight to it <clears throat> awesome truck really nice roller this trailer is sweet too now the local shop that I went to had the green machine of this want $30 for it which I think is I think that's a fair price that, that's got to be the going rate right. I just didn't want to do it because I got so much other stuff from him this trailer is super heavy this is all die cast got some issues here with the tire but like I said usually that stuff is easy to fix uh, this is a really heavy trailer but look at all the detail in this trailer blood sweat and beers that's awesome you have the gas monkey logo right there this is an i think this is an actual replica of the exact trailer that they use when they go buy cars <clears throat> all the detail here that's awesome that little brush guard they put on the front and then you've got your spare tire mounted up here on the front Come on, focus. The little toolbox. That's just an awesome custom trailer. And it does come with the little ramps. I'm not going to put those on now. <clears throat> but the acting is dope. And then the last one, and the craziest one is this 2015 Ford F-150 with the pop-up camper. This pop-up is insane. And this one is super heavy too. I'm running out of room in my display for the hitch and toes. They take up quite a bit of space. We'll start with the truck. I don't think there's anything new or exciting about this casting. It's just, uh, I think it's an XLT F-150. So it's got the premium wheels, premium grill with all the chrome, tampoed lensed headlights, a lot of nice detail. <clears throat> Goodyear Wrangler tires with off-road tread. Got a metal flake in the paint. So, pretty cool truck. 
But here is what all the hype is about. So this comes in what looks like what looks to be two pieces. Do one piece at a time. I'll start with this. So here is your pop-up. This thing is super heavy. That's die cast. This is all die cast. And then this stuff inside is plastic. Feels like a separate plastic piece. But look at the detail there. You've got your, your kitchenette with your sink and your burners. A table. Another card table or something over here. Little refrigerator. This thing is awesome. There's your door. <clears throat> so now we get to see this thing. I don't know if this is convertible to where you can. Oh, it is. So you can do it a couple ways. You can just have your pop up here like this. Or you can display it as if you are camping, which might, it might take some finessing to get all the pegs in all the holes, but uh, that goes there and then you just put the top on there. And it all just snaps together, and there's your pop-up. Look at the, the ruffles in the canvas. This thing is sick. I have a feeling this is going to be a big hit with all the uh, enthusiasts. Look at all that detail. You've got your propane tank up here. You've got all your little vents and hookups. Man, that is sweet indicators it has brake lights on it this might be the nicest little most detailed trailer and the cool thing is you can have it you can have it out while it is hitched that is so cool That is so cool. I like all of these. This is a great, the only one I don't really care for <clears throat> is the Volkswagen. But, uh, but with that said, that little trailer is heavy. It's a little chunk of metal. <clears throat> and they did a really good job on it. They did an awesome job on all four of these. Um, guys definitely got to get out and pick them up this thing right here is just insane it is stupid cool so anyways i'm glad we got four of these done inside of 15 minutes so thanks for checking it out i'll be back with more cool stuff soon so i will holler at the next video